Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, wasn't planning on fishing today, but took a look at the weather. It's gonna be a little bit windy, but not too bad today. But what happens is, is that we get a, a big push from the north. So winds from the north blowing south, and that's gonna drop our temps down into the low 70s. So that's gonna be a temperature shock, and that's never good for anything. So the two things I wanna do is just kinda of get out, do a little bit of quick fishing. I'm just brought the fly only. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw the fly around a little bit. There's a permit spot that I've been seeing permit every single time I come out. Just haven't had a chance at getting a shot at them because they're real spooky, but I've been seeing them consistently enough to want to give it a shot. Plus, the main thing I want to do is I brought my dive gear out. So I'm going to uh, check out in my uh, lobster spots because this might be the kickoff of when they start taking off when that uh, we're gonna drop maybe 10 degrees and just overnight so stuff like that tends to like kick movement so they all of a sudden might just disappear so check my spots maybe pick up a couple for dinner tonight and then uh, try to get back on the road and home pretty quick because today is fantasy fest night Saturday and uh, people will start flooding into the town this evening and I want to make sure my car is put away and I'm tucked nice and safely inside and then maybe go check out the festival later on tonight but get some fishing in for now so let's check it out so it's not turning out to be a very good uh, fly fishing day as you can see there's very cloudy so uh, not a lot of Sun which means it's very hard to see uh, which is good and bad um, I'm just gonna tuck in I'm right here at this little cut and it creates current so a lot of times that'll attract stuff and then I'm going to move on to that permit spot if I don't see anything there after an hour then I'll switch over and just go underwater and chase the lobsters all right no luck there so we're going to take a brief fly fishing intermission and do some quick lobstering so we'll be right back dude <laughs> I was coming back so I was just filming and then I was gonna come back at the net and get those couple of them and this dude was just swimming underneath my kayak <laughs> man there are so many lobsters in that spots here I mean it's just as many as the uh, opening season so man they filled in hopefully they stick around and I'll be get them through November but we'll see after this uh, cold front moves through what they do but wow <laughs> nice 
All right, I think I'll pick up one more from this spot and then I'll check another spot and get maybe one more and that'll be it for the day. Then do one more flats, fly fishing, and then uh, we're gonna head on back. All right, we got the second one from this spot. So cooled out another one and then we'll go check out my other spots. There's plenty still left in this one. So we're good for another month, hopefully. All right, got number three. There was a bigger one I've been working on for about 15 minutes and it finally escaped. Ugh. But there's a couple more this size. Um, I might cull one more out of this spot and then uh, hit more, one more, one or two more spots on the way in and I don't know, limit, maybe not. I usually just get three, but we'll see. Check out that one. <laughs> There's three of them, they're all the same size like this in one hole, but it's all just packed full of lobsters. I'm just amazed. I don't know what happened, but man, there's just tons of them. But I uh, ended up picking up a limit, so this is the last one, so we're gonna call it a day. Head on back. Yeah, there's a manatee. See if I can catch them. I was like, wow, it's like a Loch Ness monster going real slow. Wonder if he'll come over here. Gruntage. Ah, get out of the rocks, no! <laughs> there we go. I didn't get skunked. Yeah. Uh, oops. <coughs> Can't see because the sun. Ah, oh, that's a grunt. Oh, so we can get it. You can keep it, yeah. Wait, how yeah, there's no, there's no size limit on those. How do you know if they're mango snapper? Oh my God. Um, is it the one that you got? This one's not. This is called a sergeant major. Uh, those are mangrove snappers there. Oh, okay. If you see, they have the banded eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, over here, all about the same. Mango snappers, grunts. They're all kind of like the same family, so.
Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you catch with that water bottle, huh? I'm just uh, saving the day with some little snappers and grunts. <laughs> that's, that's you have to lower your standards when you're back at the dock. <laughs> I, saw, I saw you pull that up with the fly rod. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, we're... we're we were attempting for the permit, <laughs> but we're going to settle for a grunt. Do you see anything? There we go. <laughs> Don't lose my fly. Oh. Give me my fly back. Whoa. Damn. Wow. You ate it. No, not too bad. <laughs> I'm the fly in the clouser. If you look real fast, it looks like a permit. Since I'll be posting this on uh, Florida Sportsman, uh, just a heads up where I'm catching these. Looking for the uh, small islands with a lot of current. Uh, generally, they'll be either adjacent to or in the center of the uh, main channels running from the Gulf of Mexico to Atlantic. So they're always getting current one way or the other. Um, surrounded by flats is the best uh, not only is it because that's where they're going out at nighttime scavenging for food but it means that it's less likely that you're gonna find the majority of the boats going on over those flats to get these islands uh, once you're there just take a look one side generally will have a cut because of the current running through one certain side and that creates a deep channel uh, just go inside there, take a look around. Uh, usually there'll be either one point or another point, and then that's where you're gonna find all the lobsters in just one certain spot. Um, I've probably got about 10 different spots like this, and I'd say maybe a quarter of them were hit during a lobster mini season, and then not touched after that. And uh, the ones that were never touched or just packed full where I just, I could take as many as I wanted. And the ones that were wiped out during mini seasons, they start filling right back in this whole time frame. So just a helpful hint if you're interested in still getting lobsters. <laughs>